Yes. Okay. Now, friend, we will take one more example. Suppose we have example one hundred and twelve cube. We are going to find cube of one hundred and twelve. Also, by using this formula, we can solve this example. So, here, what to do? Huh? Let us make first group that is A, that is eleven, and second one group B, that is two. Huh? Okay. Keep in mind here, eleven is A and two is B. Now, we are going to solve the example. Okay. So now. Here, a is cube. As we know, cube square of eleven is one hundred and one hundred and twenty-one. And now again to multiply by eleven. So for that, what I am doing? I am using your trick of multiplying by eleven. Once one, one ones are one. Now one and two, three. Now three, two and three, two and one, three, and one itself. Trick of eleven. So one three three is the answer. It means cube of eleven is One three three one. I got it. Now here a square b. Eleven square is one twenty one. Just I told into b. It is what multiplication togetherly two four two. Now a b square means eleven into b square is two two is a four. Eleven four is a forty four is the answer. And finally b cube means. Cube of two is eight. What to do now? Uh, this numbers double. We have to write here. So double of it is four eight four, and double of it is eight eight. Uh, now we are multiplying it. Eight to eight, no carrying number. Uh, eight and two four four and eight twelve to two one carry over. Four and eight twelve and one thirteen directly. I am taking here. Now here two and four six and three nine is there, and here. Eight and four, twelve and thirteen, one carry over, and here seven. But those seventy-three I am taking here as a carrying number. Now one and seven, one and three, four, seven and three and seven, ten to zero, one carry over, three and one, four and one. This is our answer. Okay, here what did we do? Our A was eleven and B was six. Thing. Okay, one more example we are taking here. Here, our second group was one digit. So here was we were carrying only one one number, huh? One one digit only, digit only. Okay. Now I want to take one example of similar type, and this is now finding cube of four hundred and twelve. Four hundred and twelve. This like cube I want to solve, huh? By using the same method, same formula. Here, what can I do? Uh, here for my better. Suppose I am grouping forty one and two. Then finding cube of forty one, it is bit hard for me. So what I'm doing here, I'm making group of four and group of twelve. So means A is four and B is twelve for this formula. Okay. So now we are going now cube of four. Four four cube of four is sixty four. Just we are wrote here only. Now A square B. A square is Sixteen and multiplied by twelve. Now here six two za twelve six two za twelve to two one carry over. Now two and two one za two six one za two one eight and one nine to nine nothing to carry over. And one one za one one ninety two is the here we got. And now a b square. B square is one forty four and A is four. Now multiplication is going on. Four four is a sixteen to six one carry over. Four four is a sixteen one seventeen to seven one carry over. Four one is a four and one five five hundred and seventy six is our answer here. Okay, five hundred and seventy six and finally uh, B is square twelve square is one forty four. We know it now. Ah, huh, this one double of it. Suppose then dub making double of it, I am getting a little haziness. So just only write one ninety two. One ninety two. Writing two times means what? Double. Here also five seventy six, five seventy. As what is convenient for us that to do? Ah, huh, here is no any specific rule. Okay. Here I was I should I had to double of this number. So only I wrote two times just for addition. That's it. Huh? Now four one forty four 
to 4 and 14 to carry over one one more line i want to draw here uh, for carry, carrying number so it will be easy 14 to 4 and this 14 to carry over now here 6 6 6 6 is the 18 and 4 is 22 and 2 to carry over now here 7 3 is a 21 and 3 24 and 2 carry over 15 and 2 17 this answer i have got here and out okay uh, here is a bit correction by me okay this example in this example here what to do here we got 142 so out of 142 14 we are keeping here and just one we are carrying here the reason this group b group is of two digit so here everywhere we are keeping two two digit and just only extra digit, digit we are just transferring so here out of 144 we are keeping two digit and only one i am going to transfer now here also 6 3 is a 18 and 1 19 1 carry over now 21 and 22 2 carry over and 17 is there i got here 1729 out of the 29 i want to keep here and this 17 i want to carry here now here here is 192 and 6 and 7 13 to 3 1 carry over 27 and 29 to 9 2 carry over and 5 i got here 593 out of 593 93 i want to keep here and this 6 this 5 i want to carry here 64 and 5 is 69 this is my answer one more thing i am going to tell you again back in the previous example of finding cube of 112 112 one one digit only we had kept and rest of we had carried out but here as the second group is two digit group so two two digit i am keeping and rest of i am carrying out uh, this is only one thing to understand hello friend now we will learn how to find cube of any number which is closer than uh, cl closer to 1000 here are two parts if the number is greater than 1000 and the number is less than 1000 firstly we are understanding if the number is greater than 1000 and closer to 1000 how to saw how to find cube of that specific number very simple one example we are taking suppose we have taken 1003 cube of 1003 it is closer to 1000 1000 has three zeros you just know it so now i am going to solve to solve this example i just want to make a group like that so that would be very easy for us now it's what huh? it is p1 answers first part it is p2 answers second part and it is p3 answers third part in the third part there will be three digits so i have put three dots in the second part there would be three digits and then rest of answer would be that then how to find just see what is exceeding to 1000 means 3 is more than 1000 so make the cube of 3 in the p3 means three third part so cube of 3 is 27 but as 1000 has three zeros i want this uh, part 3 as a three digit so zero i added here uh, cube of 3 uh, how did i create this number it is cube of 3 cube of 3 is just only 27 but i want three digit number so i added one zero here now before part 2 we are creating part 1 so for creating part 1 what we will do uh, we just here wrote cube of 3 so here we want double of 3 what is the extra it's double it's double of 3 is 6 and in that 6 that number what is number 1003 that i want to add means from in the number 1003 that of which numbers cube we done means uh, 3 accident number it's double 6 i want to add means together it is 1003 plus 6 is 1009 it is my answers first part it is my third part now by using those two i am making the middle part part 2 of the answer so how this answers part is exceeding by 9 by the 1000 it is 1009 means 
uh, here are extra 9 that I wrote here. Here I made cube of 3. So I am taking this 3 and I am doing multiplication of both. It is difference between 1000 and 1009. 1000 and this first part of the answer difference is 9 and it is 3 from the 100 and 1003 and both multiplication is again back here 27 but here also I want 3 digit answer so I am putting 0 and this is my final answer. Fi answer is what here 100 crore 90 lakh 27027 this is the answer. Okay, now by taking one more example, our understanding would be more clear. So let us solve back again this exam, uh, again one more example uh, that would be more fine for us. Now.